Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Book 2, Unit 11, Describing People with Have Got. Dear students, in this unit we will learn how to describe people with have got. Let's look at the objectives of this unit. Okay, after completing this unit, you will be able to describe people with have got and you will be able to use phrases with verb ing and prepositions. Now, let's move to the lesson. Let's look at the first question. What does Bill look like? Okay. He is tall and thin. So what does Bill look like? He is tall and thin. Do Bill and Stewart look alike? Okay, look alike means same. No, they look totally different. What does he look like? He looks like his father. What color is Bill's hair? It's blonde. How tall is his father? He is six foot seven inches tall. Does he have curly hair? No, he has straight hair. So we can also say like how tall is his father? He is six foot seven inches tall. He is we can also say he is two meters five. Now have got means same as have. Okay. Now who has got curly hair? I do. I have got curly hair. He has got blonde hair. Okay. Who's got? This is the contraction for who has got I have got means this is the contraction for I have got he's got this is the contraction for he has got okay so here in all these sentences you can see means we have been describing people okay with have got so what does uh, let's repeat what does Bill look like he is tall and thin okay do Bill and Stewart look alike no they look totally different. What does he look like? He looks like his father. What color is Bill's hair? It's blonde. How tall is his father? So you can see we are talking about looks, we are talking about lock, about tall, okay, and we use have got, okay, in the same sense as have. Okay. Hope you have got an idea how to describe people with have got. Let's do some more practice. Now here we will be using phrases with verb, a verb and ing and preposition. Okay, so like where do we use verb with ing and preposition? Okay, so we are using phrases with verb B plus ing and prepositions okay so where do we use phrases with verb B and an ing and preposition we use this to identify okay people and things we use phrases with verb uh, b ing and preposition okay we use verb plus ing means not necessarily b okay so we use verb plus ing and preposition to identify people and thing so he's the guy standing by the table okay so we're talking about a person who is standing by the table he's the guy wearing the black pants which one is your roommate the guy with the mustache who's the guy talking to Mark's roommate with the yellow pants 
that's his brother who's the guy in the blue shirt which one the one with glasses that's Jason he's the one by the table with the mustache in the black shirt okay so in all these sentences you can see we are using the verb okay stand plus ing and preposition to identify people and things okay so here we are basically talking about people he's the guy wearing the black pants okay the guy with the mustache who's the guy talking to Mark's roommate with the yellow pants that's his brother hope uh, you have enjoyed the lesson and uh, hope you have learned interesting elements of grammar in this unit. This is all for today. Have a nice day. See you in the next class.